Writing in the digital age presents a few challenges that every writer should know how to work around. Things like plagiarism checkers, online thesauruses, and the seemingly endless sea of information you have to sift through. In order for you to be able to stand out and move forward successfully, you have to be proficient at all of these things and more. Taking advantage of websites that pool information and that act as a sort of world brain for universal access will help you greatly. H.G. Wells, in his book of essays, The World Brain, details that it is probable that the idea of an encyclopedia may undergo very considerable extension and elaboration in the near future. The phrase permanent world encyclopedia conveys the gist of these ideas, as the core of such an institution would be a world synthesis of bibliography and documentation with the indexed archives of the world. A great number of workers would be engaged perpetually in perfecting this index of human knowledge and keeping it up to date. Turns out H.G. Wells was spot on. One might argue that this encyclopedia is present for today's writers with sites like Wikipedia, though this does bring about an important issue for writers. If all your information is stored and edited in one place, the importance of credibility skyrockets. With all this information on the web and the mass amounts of misinformation, it has become an essential practice to constantly fact check the information that you are writing about and researching. You no longer have an excuse to have factually in inaccurate information residing in your work. And if you happen to rely on one of these non-facts, you must be able to correct and edit quickly as, as inaccurate and shoddy writing will get buried on the internet. Use things like Grammarly.com to check your grammar and to make sure that you aren't just reiterating information that has already been discussed by the use of its plagiarism checker. If the information has been discussed, then it is the writer's responsibility to utilize and reference these other sources. An author that you should become familiar with as a digital age writer is Ted Strefus, and a term that you should become familiar with as a digital age writer is algorithmic culture. A term coined by Ted Strefus that means to refer to ways in which computers run a complex mathematical formula engage in what is often considered to be the traditional work of culture, the sorting, classifying, and hierarchizing of people, places, objects, and ideas. You are a part of this algorithmic culture as long as you are on the internet. You are being sorted and classified, so it is your job to represent yourself at the highest caliber. Strefa states, we are experiencing a shift with regard to the meaning of technology and culture, though not a return exactly to the pre-modern understanding. It seems clear that both words are fusing back together in interesting ways. You can see this through the emergence of any number of phenomena, but consider two, Google and the digital humanities. The advent of Google Glass is on the horizon, and it uses algorithmic culture to determine what you read and what you, quite literally, see. Google collects tons and tons of data off of everything you search, favorite, and upload to social media. It is up to you as a writer to push yourself into the sphere of recognition that will allow you to have your work show up and appear for people using these new technologies. In 2002, Google attempted to start the process of making a universal access library similar to the H.G. Wells idea. In 2013, a documentary titled Google and the World Brain explored Google's attempt to realize this idea. For Wells, the world brain had to contain all that was learnt and known, and that was being learnt and known. You have access to anything that's been written. That changes your idea of who you are. Here comes Google. They've got the energy. They've got the technology. They've got the money. And they said, we'll do it for you.